John, how you doing? Very well, man. I appreciate you uh, talking to me today. Thank you for your time. Very uh, big congratulations on the film. It's Thanks, uh, it's wonderful. Uh, I wanted to begin by asking you, obviously, we see Serena and Venus at a certain age uh, and being inspired by both their mother and their father. I just wondered when you were their age, who inspired you? And does that inspiration still carry you through what you do, what you do now? Sure. You, you know, a, a number of people, you, you know, I was an athlete myself, um, but but, you know, I think um, you know, for me, really, I, I, I think I look at my brothers, you know, my, my brothers are, are, are both uh, enormously successful guys um, and in very different ways. Um, I was always uh, quite different than them. And, and I felt, you know, as a young man, I kept kind of walking into walls, uh, all kinds of walls. But I, I saw my brothers really flourish um, in athletics, um, in business, uh, in relationships. And, um, you know, it always really inspired me. I, I, I was never um, jealous of them. I was really proud of them. Um, and now I, I, I think that same sort of pride uh, uh, carries through with my kids. Uh, th there's nobody who inspires me more. I, I, I see such goodness in them and, and, and kindness in them and, um, courage in them. And, uh, it, I'm enormously proud of them, but I'm also enormously sort of in awe of them and, and, uh, they inspire me. And you're playing uh, Rick Macy, who is a, a very obviously well-known coach and has coached a lot of people. And oh, I guess when you play a, a real life person, it's it's a challenge different to when you don't play a real life person. But when that person is still with us and is going to watch the film and everything else, I guess there's even gr greater pressure, but also responsibility to make sure that you portray him in the right the right light. Did you did you enjoy that challenge of of balancing those two things? Sure. Look, it is. It's it, there. There is a pressure, and and you do want to get it right. I mean, look, Rick Macy is not nearly as well known as Richard Williams, and certainly not even even in the same stratosphere as Venus and Serena. Um, but because the script was so authentic, and because of the work that everybody was doing, and the kind of movie that Ray was making, um, you know, I really think that th th there's something honorable and bold about sort of using truth as your guiding light, and and. For me, I really wanted to portray the real Rick Macy. So, you know, really, you, you know, changing my body. I, I lost 30 pounds. I, I, I uh, trained extensively in tennis and how to coach tennis. Um, I, I worked coaching tennis with a young junior national player, um, but also just getting his voice, his his the pitch of his voice and his unbelievably specific dialect from where he was from. I really wanted to get that right. And um, ultimately, you know, he he saw the movie and you know, he reached out and he was really, um, you know, he was really happy with, 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 uh, with, with uh, the performance and, and, and how he was portrayed. And then that really does it. It really, it really meant a lot to me. Yeah. And obviously, you know, we've got Will as the, as the lead of this, of course, but Sonea and Demi who play Serena and Venus are just incredible in so many different ways for you watching them as young act actors doing what they were doing and bringing these people to life in, in such amazing ways. I mean, you must've been in awe of them because they're just so, so good. Yeah, look, uh, absolutely. Uh, they're wise beyond their years, unbelievably talented, unbelievably kind. Um, I, I, I love those young women. I love their families. Uh, I, uh, they've got me forever. You know, um, I love making them laugh. I, 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 you know, what I learned about Rick Macy is that he made things fun and he didn't mind being the butt of the joke. So just as long as those uh, young women were laughing, uh, I didn't care whether they were laughing with me or at me. It was mostly at me. But uh, being being sort of uh, clowning it up for them uh, was a lot of fun. And uh, I can't say enough good about them. Yeah. And just before I go, I'm sure you get asked this question about The Punisher so many times. And of course, with all the talk of maybe Charlie Cox returning in Spider-Man, all this kind of stuff. But are you are you still hopeful that maybe one day in whatever guys it would be that you get to come back and, and play play Frank Castle again? Because you would, I have to say you were so, so good in that role. Thanks, man. I appreciate you saying that. I, you know, hopeful. I, I, you know, I don't know. It's it's not something that I, uh, I, I'm enormously happy with the things that I'm 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 doing now. Uh, look, I I I I love that character. I love Frank Castle. He's in my bones. He's in my heart. It, it's not really about something. It's not something that I pine away and hope to do. Uh, uh, what I how, the way I feel about it is simply. If we're going to do it, we just need to do it right. So I, I, it's not worth just doing it, it. The character means 
uh, too much uh, to so many people. Um, I, I think it, it, it's really all about, you know, can we do it right? And if there was an opportunity to do it right, I, I would be all in 100%. Fingers crossed. John, love it to talk to you. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you, man. Thanks, man. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!